my name is Chris Rogers. I'm a technology evangelist here at Zerto, a Hewlett Packard Enterprise company. So we're, we're, what we're introducing today is uh, the HP GreenLake for disaster recovery platform. So unlocking the fastest recovery experience in one single platform with a limited scale. So if you're familiar with the HP uh, GreenLake Edge to Cloud platform, you know that it's you know accelerating data first. So where do, where does the, the disaster recovery fit in this in this situation? So it's right at the top on cloud data services with a nice red box around it with disaster recovery around it. But you can see it's not just the disaster recovery. We're, we're having this data first approach to everything. And this kind of is one piece of this puzzle. So it fits in with the bigger value proposition of Zerto GreenLake's edge to cloud platform, not just on its as a standalone product, although it will stand up as a standalone product, but it's, it's in that bigger ecosystem of, of, of people using multiple products, but in a single user experience. So what's it gonna give us? So it's giving us the fastest recovery from any disruption, as we know. It's going to be built upon the foundations of Zerto, introducing continuous data protection inside of HP GreenLake's Edge to Cloud platform. It's one simple unified experience from Edge to Cloud. So whatever you're using the GreenLake platform for, you can use, it's a simple experience. It's unified across. It's got a, a common coding language, a language. So now we're integrating that into, into disaster recovery. So the same place you can configure your block storage and your backup and recovery, you can now configure your disaster recovery as well and global deployment with elastic scale. So the HP um, GreenLake Edge to Cloud platform has that global deployment. Wherever you're running your data centers, whether that's on public cloud, private cloud, we can do that with elastic scale as well. So what are we bringing? So orchestrated disaster recovery. So the ability to perform live failovers, test failovers, and, and, and um, failback all within one simple console. So the same place you do configure and protection, the same place you do automation and orchestration. So the ability to do those failovers, as I mentioned, but all of this with application centric operations in mind. So grouping those virtual machines together, running in your, in your environment and recovering them as a single entity. And then not just that, we can do report on SLA statuses, monitor in real time, again, all from the exact same console. So we don't ever have to leave the GreenLake platform for all of these use cases. It's a real, real great use case. So this is disaster recovery designed for hybrid cloud. So if you're running multiple data centers in, in different regions, or even in potentially public cloud as well, it's a single globally available console to manage DR from anywhere you are with any device. So you don't need to have access to your, to your particular computer. You can, act, you can log in to the GreenLake platform wherever you are on any device and orchestrate and automate, monitor your disaster recovery operations as well. So really taking that simplicity to another level with the GreenLake platform as well. And then very rarely is you know, disaster recovery done on a, on, a, on, a, on a silo, right? And if it is, maybe we need to look at that. So the same place you're gonna provision, manage, storage, backup and recovery, and all those other data centric operations that you're doing, the same place you're doing that is the same place you're going to configure disaster recovery as well. So it's going to tie hand in hand with your backup and recovery operations, for instance. Those conversations often merge in organizations, right? So making sure that we can then combine our backup and recovery strategy with our disaster recovery strategy in a single view, in a single place, very easy, very simple to use. Chris, is this solution um, specifically for virtual machines or does this cover some of the other things that you talked about for the kubernetes protection the aws protection and the SaaS protection so what we're announcing is the first iteration of this which is for virtual machines um i'd imagine roadmaps are gonna are gonna uh, um, tie those things in um but for the first iteration this is you know um this is the first the first iteration for virtual machines okay so so the, so we're simplifying these um, disaster recovery operations uniquely. So we can auto, auto discover sites and then auto discover those virtual machines. So you don't have to import anything. You don't have to worry about inventories. We're going to automatically import all of that data for you into the GreenLake platform. You then allocate those virtual machines to continuous data protection groups very, very easily. And then you perform your live failovers and test operations. So we look at it from kind of a holistic or a, a logical view. We've got the HP GreenLake Edge to Cloud platform on the left hand side here. And then via HTTP and, and RE, HTTPS and REST, sorry, we're essentially monitoring and maintaining communications and operations through all of your different data centers, whether that's data center A, B, public cloud, hybrid cloud, whatever, whatever you want to do, essentially, this is going to be available from a single view. 
So you don't you can you can now log into a single place and do all of your automation orchestration in your recovery. And I think one of the questions earlier we had was well, where, where do you where do you log in for high availability? Well, actually now the best place would be GreenLake's platform because that's always available. And then the replicated data still follows a very similar path to what it would before between the data centers. So we're not actually interrupting any of the data. We're not interrupting any of the flow there. So we're still maintaining the continuous data protection, but actually um, utilizing the GreenLake platform to orchestrate and monitor and, uh, and control that, that workflow. So how does it work? So near synchronous replication. So no scheduling, no snapshots, no agents. So a simple software only deployment with the storage of your choice we protect that on-premises with continuous data protection. We are hardware and storage agnostic. We know that green, HP GreenLake, we obviously want everyone to be using HP storage and HP compute, but obviously in that hybrid cloud, maybe we haven't got that far yet. Maybe we're, we're not in the right refresh cycle. Maybe we're using public cloud as well. We wanna make sure that this is open to all. So making sure that we're not excluding anybody. So we're not saying you have to run HP TIN to run HP GreenLake for DR. And then unique journaling. So the ability to rewind back to seconds previous and a common DR experience across any storage or any cloud. So it's not going to look any different, not going to feel any different. Inbuilt ransomware protection. So increasing the, increasing the, uh, the, the resilience to cyber threats, being able to rewind just seconds before an attack and resume in minutes. And again, unlocking the fastest RTOs and the fastest RPOs always on applications. And then building on that, application-centric recovery. So right order fidelity across the entire multi-virtual machine stack. So all of these servers that make up the enterprise application, exactly the same point in time, going to public cloud or private cloud between sites. So when we recover, we recover them as a single entity. So it's the whole application, not just its component parts. So if we're looking at bringing continuous data protection to HP GreenLake, what are we really giving you? So we're giving you simplicity at scale. So no matter what scale you're running, where you're running it from, you can log into the HP GreenLake Edge to Cloud platform and orchestrate and automate all of your DR operations from a single console. Proven reliability. We've been doing this for a long time in industry now. We know what we're doing. Therefore, we're bringing the best in continuous data replication to the HP GreenLake platform. And we are the gold standard in performance. We're the only ones who can achieve RPOs of seconds across thousands and sometimes tens of thousands of virtual machines across customer environments. With, with this um, implementation, it looks to me like it's completely covered up the Zerto pieces. So do customers even know they're using Zerto under the covers here? Or is it just a service that happens to exist within the GreenLake ecosystem? I would imagine if they are already Zerto customers, they'll probably know. But if they're not, they, prob they probably won't know. That, okay. that the whole, yeah, so we're kind of yeah, hiding, hiding the Zerto, well, not hiding, that's the wrong word, but yeah, making it look like any other service, right, inside the GreenLake platform. Um, that, I think that's key is having that common experience across all places. We don't have a big red Z in the, uh, in the GreenLake yeah. platform. We want to make sure it's the, make sure it's the right, right branding for the right um, people because people who are invested in this GreenLake platform, they're going to be used to a certain user experience and a certain way things flow. You know, that common experience, that common coding API as well, right? So you can use the, the GreenLake API to interact with, with Zerto. So the same API that you're already, you know, using for your block storage and your compute and everything else you're doing, you can now configure DR using using that as well so that is that common experience that we're really selling and that kind of unified management across wherever you're running um so you know how many sites or how many um, things you have it's a unified experience at global scale 